Yeah. The rewards of self-belief have turned me into an addict. Yeah. Girls cheating, being hoes has turned me into a savage. Before I knew I... Hey, what's going on, guys? Akaboka here with another video for you today. And today, we're actually going to be doing a little bit of a different video. No spoken word today. It's just going to be me showing off a collection I've been working on over the past couple months. So if you know me, if you follow me on my social media pages, cheap plug here to my Twitter and my Instagram, <laughs> you got to get those cheap plugs in. You know I'm a fan of three main things. Pokemon, Nintendo, and the All-American Rejects. The All-American Rejects have been my favorite band now ever since I started listening to them probably. From their hits such as Swing Swing to Dirty Little Secret to Everybody Knows Gives You Hell. And recently they've actually had a major comeback back in July, which I actually went to go see a concert with them. I'll show a picture of the kick stub right here. And uh, that was the second time I ever saw them in concert. First time was when you guys saw that video last year of me going to their October uh, 7th concert with Blink-182, for which I was late to the concert to see them opening and then I was leaving early because of the situation I described in that video. But anyway, they're my favorite band and recently back in July they came back with a new song called Sweat and a new EP rather called Sweat which includes the titular song, uh, the title track, and then uh, chain, uh, Close Your Eyes. I was about to say Change Your Mind, Change Your Mind is a different song by then. So Close Your Eyes is probably one of my favorite songs from them. It has a very uh, heartbeat slowing down vibe if you know uh, their, uh, their music at all, which if you don't, I highly recommend you go listen to their albums. I have all four of their albums now, and I've tried so hard to track all these down. You guys have no idea how hard it is to get some of these things because for some reason their merch is very hard to get. Like back in March, I got this, their sweater. This is their Kids in the Street sweater. And uh, I'll even turn turn around for you guys to see the back. So this is what it's like in the front. And this is what it's like in the back. It's pretty cool, pretty awesome. And it's probably my favorite sweater, honestly. Uh, other than that, I have a poster that you can't see. Oh, you can see now with the glare out the way because I have lighting. Yeah, but yeah, and I have a couple other things I want to show you guys. I also have this bracelet right here that I got off of Amazon. It's probably not an official bracelet, but hey, I like it a lot. And reason why uh, I used to wear this like every day, but reason why I don't wear it is now is because there's a giant crack right there in the middle. You can see that, yeah. So I'm afraid it's going to rip, probably going to have to get a new one. Yeah, I see it ripping through right now, which sucks. Maybe I'll super glue it, I don't know, I'm cheap. <laughs> no, I'm cheap for other things. Uh, when it comes to the All American Reject stuff, I'll, play, I'll pay full price for it. Such as for their albums, which I have all of their albums except for Kids in the Street. The physical copy of Kids in the Street is so hard to find. I remember once I found it in uh, Walmart for $9 and literally I should have got it then but I didn't and I regret it because uh, it's so hard to find now. That was like in 2013 that I saw it and of uh, yeah like October 2013 it's also when I saw uh, MCR's last album May Death Never Stop You which is a greatest hit, uh, hits album from them. And I should have got it then, but yeah, I got the first album a couple weeks ago, back in the first early stages of uh, November. And it's the first album completely in full. You see the reflection of my camera, of my window, you know, all that good stuff. I'll give you some good pictures of it later on in the video when I'm showing everything off close up. I also have Move Along, uh, their album that went double platinum. Pretty awesome as the FBI warning and everything. Then I have their third album, which honestly, this album I've bought twice now. <laughs> Almost every album I have from them I bought twice. So there's the AAR right there. 
There's the back. And it's awesome. So, I've listened to each of these songs. Uh, I'm planning on getting a CD player just so I could probably listen to them all the time. And uh, maybe I'll get like a, a new vinyl uh, player because right now I have a vinyl player and uh, it only plays vinyls, of course. But there are some vinyl players that play CDs, cassette tapes, uh, and vinyls as well. So, I'll probably look into that, get those. Uh, but moving on. Move along, move on. <laughs> We have their seven inch vinyl uh, for their AP Sweat. Now this one is awesome. I bought this out, I buy everything of this out of my own pocket. This is all money out of my own pockets. No sponsors here, nothing. I just wanna make a video of something I really like. So yeah, this is the album Sweat. So as you can see, there's Tyson Ritter right there in his full glorious cross-dressing as Betsy. And Behind, simple, sweat, close your eyes. And I like what Mike said. Uh, Mike, for those of you who don't know, Mike Kennedy is the rhythm guitarist, and he plays basically all the instruments they need him to play in uh, whatever song they choose. So like in, uh, he's usually a second guitarist, but he'll move over to uh, bass if he needs to, such as in the song, uh, There's a Place. And I like what he said, there's no color vinyls of this, they're going to keep it classy on black. Hey, you see the reflection, that's noise. And it's just two sides, simple, keep it classy on black for this awesome vinyl. The vinyl sounds amazing, by the way. And yes, I like keeping everything in their sleeves because I like to keep everything in pristine condition. I say that as there's a kink in the corner right there, and it sucks. But yeah, there's that, which this one I got back in August. Now this album, like I said, I bought When the World Comes Down twice. <laughs> and it's so funny because I bought it twice in the same month. So I bought the vinyl, which is the full 12 inch vinyl, I believe. I believe it's 12 inches, it might be 10. I believe it's the full 12 though. But yeah, here's the cover and here's the inside. The inside has all the lyrics to every single song on the album except for the hidden track that you normally find on the CD and on their uh, digital album. Because I don't think they can list the, you know, secret song, the hidden track on this. They never, they don't even list it on the CD. So that's why, you know, it's hidden track. So most likely they didn't want to give anything away. So there's the inside, here's the back. There you go. And then I love how Doghouse Records, you know, they're just so amazing with their vinyls. Everything they do is so amazing. This is the recently released version of this vinyl, sorry, excuse me, which is the Starburst vinyl. So there you go, this is the side A. As you can see, it has I Wanna, Fallen Apart, Damn Girl, Gives You Hell, Mona Lisa, and Breaking. While side B contains Another Heart Calls, The Real World, Back To Me, Believe, and The Wind Blows. It's amazing looking vinyl. I love how it looks. It just blows me away that they can get this, uh, this detail in there. I love tie-dye and that's why this uh, album kind of like, this, not this album rather, uh, this vinyl kind of just speaks to me. Uh, trying to slowly put this back in, make sure it doesn't you know, tear or anything. But yeah, this vinyl is just so amazing. So yeah, there's that. The one the world comes down. That's the second vinyl I have. And the final vinyl that I have right now is actually a four piece vinyl. This vinyl took so long to track down. And uh, it's actually a set of four vinyls. It's the All American Rejects Kids in the Street uh, Collector's Edition, which I, again, bought twice. The first time I bought this album was back in 
the Christmas of 2013 when I got a Google Play card for my uh, for Christmas, and I went on Google Play and I was like, you know, screw it, I'm gonna pay for <laughs> for music for once, and I'm uh, uh, support the artists that I love, which you know. This uh, album, for those of you don't, who don't know, has not gotten a certification yet, which is odd for the All-American Music, because they usually get at least one certification, because for their albums, the first album went platinum, I believe it went double platinum recently. Uh, this was double platinum, I think it went uh, uh, double, triple platinum recently, and then this one, which stayed at a certification of gold. If there's any updates to it, I'll let you know down in the description. But yeah, this took me so long to track vinyls for the All American Music, especially the first print, which is the brown and red vinyl for kids in the street. Kids in the street, if I can pronounce things, is uh, about $300 brand new, which I ain't got that type of money. I don't know about you guys, but I ain't got that type of money to be spending on no vinyls. So. I tracked this down and luckily there was someone around me in my area, in my area, I went all the way down to Gardena to get this. For those of you who don't know, I live in Los Angeles. And uh, I got it for $75, which is a steal, honestly, for the collector's edition. And it comes with this cool mask. Every edition comes with a different mask. Yes, here's me wearing it. Yes, I look uglier than usual. But, <laughs> but yeah, there's the mask that it comes with. I love that mask. Probably won't ever touch it again. Uh, and then it comes with the lyrics to every song. And it's all in the handwritten format. This is Kids in the Street. First song that it has is Some Days Gone, Beekeeper's Daughter. And it's so awesome because it's literally like handwritten. It's not handwritten on the page, but it's handwritten photocopied and uh, like scanned, photocopied and printed out again. Then it has Fast and Slow, which is recently becoming one of my favorite songs to listen to their acoustic version. If you guys haven't heard that, I'll probably link it in the description as well. Go listen to it. It's so f awesome. I just love the vibe of it. It's like very tropical, which is cool because it was more like a glam rock type of power track in the original recording. But then there's Heartbeat Slowing Down, one of my favorite songs from them. Uh, Walk Over Me, my friend loves that song. <laughs> yeah, Out the Door. And then there's, I believe, Kids in the Street, the title track. Amazing, nostalgic song, if you guys haven't listened to it. Lead Into Your Mind. Gonzo, which is probably my favorite track from this album, but who am I to say, honestly. And then there's Affection. The final song is I For You and it's on the back where it has not only the lyrics but it has all the thank yous and all that so have a good look at that. But let's get into the finals because that's the very interesting part about this. They all come in their own sleeve, it's a set of four vinyls so here's one of them. This one is volume one of course. And look at this, disc number one, this side right here has Some Days Gone and Beekeeper's Daughter, while this side over here gets fast and slow. Now I love this vinyl right here because I actually want to get a t-shirt with uh, this guy on it and um, I'll probably get it off of Merch Method, link in the description. Again, none of this is sponsored, I just love supporting the band, That I love supporting my favorite band. So. There's that one. I know Blast From is putting them the vinyl right now, but you'll see right now why I'm doing that. I'll show you a cool thing that they do with the vinyl in a bit. Which, honestly, the fact that they did this is just so amazing. Every, uh, by the way, every vinyl cover has a different member of the band. Such as Volume 1 has Mike Canardi. Right there. Second volume. At least it says volumes on the side, that's why, or it doesn't actually just says the number, but yeah, it has uh, Chris Gaylor, the drummer, can never forget the drummer, those power tracks, always depend on it, uh, this number two, which has Heartbeat Slowing Down right here, Walk Over Me, and Out the Door on this side, I love this picture on the back because it's a bare and both ends, which is a Tumblr page that they used to have, 
that uh, I don't think it's up anymore, but it's honestly so amazing. I love the I love the feeling behind "Burn Both Ends." It's a lyric from the title track, which just kind of hits home once you <laughs> once you listen to the to it. Then there's number three, which has everybody's favorite. Or not everybody's favorite, rather, but probably the most recognizable guy from the band, Tyson Ritter himself, and all his weirdness. Right here, we have this guy. I didn't know I have a portrait of myself on the vinyl, but yeah. <laughs> this number three has Kids in the Street on this side, and it has Bleed Into Your Mind on this side. Now, I like the fact that they did four vinyls instead of the usual one vinyl with all the songs on it. They did a collection of vinyls for the collector's edition for, uh, you know, and just split it up between like three or two songs per vinyl. And then there's this one, which has Nick Wheeler, who recently deleted his Twitter. So get back to me on that, guys. I don't know why you deleted your Twitter, but, you know, come back. We miss you. There's the Nick Wheeler cover. And here's the final vinyl. It's that lady right there. And I love the back to this vinyl because every back is different. And this one is just awesome. It has the All American Rejects, Kids in the Street. This one has Gonzo on this side, Affection, and I For You on this side. That's pretty much it for the vinyls. I'll show you some close-ups of all of them right now. So as you can see, the backs of the collector's edition of the Kids in the Street vinyls actually make this poster, which is really cool if you hang it up. And then we have the CDs right here. We have the vinyl for Sweat, the box art for the Kids in the Street, the lyrics right there along with the mask, and the vinyl for When the World Comes Down. And then the front of the Kids in the Street Collectors vinyls looks like this. Pretty awesome, right? And then there's this part <laughs> to the back of the collection edition, which is awesome. It lets you know which songs are on which discs and all that. The back is awesome. And I love it because it's by DGC and Interscope Records. And it lists everything off like Produced by Greg Wells, mixed by Servan Gina. All songs written by the All American Rejects, which is Universal Music Group, MGB Songs, Smells Like Phys Ed, uh, Music, and Ace Cap. So yeah, that's it for this vinyl. And I know the collection is not complete. I need this in a physical copy. So yes, I'm gonna buy this album three times. But yeah. I still need to buy, I'm probably going to buy everything three times at least, probably get the first album on its vinyl, which I'm tracking down right now, they used to have it, and I could have gotten it, but I didn't, I'm stupid, I need to get it, <laughs> uh, I already have partial of it on, uh, on Google Play Music, which, you know, if you know me, I'm an Android guy, get everything on Google Play. And then I'm probably going to move along on its vinyl, which is so hard to find. I need to go to the Americana. Hopefully at Barnes & Noble they have it. Uh, I saw it the last time. Hopefully they do. If not, I'm probably going to go to like every record store near me and go track it down. Uh, probably get the smoky vinyl. If not, I'll just take any vinyl, honestly. And then I need to get the physical copy, the physical CD copy of Kids in the Street. And then buy everything online so move along and when the world comes down I gotta get those online I have them on Amazon music because I bought the CDs off of Amazon but Amazon music's weird I just want to keep everything organized have it all in one place so Google Play expect my money <laughs> but yeah guys until the next video I make I love you guys till next time I'll see you later